Hey everyone, Irix guy here. I uh, wanted to provide another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. And by the way, feel free to check out all of my Final Cut Pro tutorials. They're on uh, on my YouTube channel. I've got a playlist link for them. It's in this video's description. But what I wanted to explain today is how to make a video black and white. Uh, now this right here is a video of me skiing, and I filmed it with a GoPro camera on top of my head. So as you can see, this is just normal color. Uh, right out of uh, right out of the camera, just plugged my GoPro in and imported my video from my GoPro into Final Cut Pro 10. So there haven't been any edits made to this video. Now the black and white's really neat. Uh, the black and white's really neat, not necessarily for a video clip such as this, but you can uh, for certain scenarios you can make stuff look really old. So to do black and white, all you do, you go to uh, the show or hide the, the effects browser. So you could, you could hit Command-5 on your keyboard, or you could just click on this little icon here. It looks, like, uh, it looks like a little film strip or something. So you click on that, and then you go to Video. And it's by the way, it's broken down by Video Filters, or Video Effects, rather, and Audio Effects. So I'm just going to do All Video Effects. Now there's this effect called, there's a lot of effects in here you can look at, but we're doing black and white. You can do the 50s TV, or you can do the black and white. Those are the two that I normally use. So let's just do the black and white one. All you do is drag black and white on top of your video clip. And now you can see that it's, uh, that it's in the process of rendering. Uh, this little thing right here, it's counting up, says 12%, 15, 16. You can also double click on that and get you a more detailed uh, rendering status here. So you can see that that it's rendering and it's uh, currently 52%, 54%. You can watch a clip depending upon the speed of your Mac. Uh, you can watch a clip while it's rendering, but I don't like it because it looks choppy and all that. Um, for a clip this size, it's almost done. It's uh, Actually, it's done now. And you can confirm that by seeing it says 100% right there. So let's rewind it and watch it in black and white. So you can see it gives it a completely different, uh, different feel. I mean, it looks old. What well, not necessarily looks old, but it's uh, black and white. Now, one other tidbit, and I'll put that in this video. You can add uh, you can add a filter. It's called Aged Film right here. So now that we've already got it on black and white, you can drag this over, and this is going to give it that. Uh, and you'll see exactly what it looks like when it finishes rendering. But this is going to give it that old uh, film strip effect. So you, you can make it look like. Uh, for whatever video you're doing, you can make it look like it was well, it was black and white, and it's so old that the film's tearing up. <laughs> so I mean, this is cool if you wanted to, like maybe this is like some sort of like shark attack movie or something like that, and just made it look, uh, make it look really creepy. And as you can see, that filter, whereas black and white was pretty fast to, uh, to complete, this age film filter is taking significantly longer and I do have a uh, I've got an iMac Core i7 it's a quad core iMac so it's it's not the current year model it's a few years old but it's uh, it's, it's still pretty fast so if you have a more powerful Mac uh, maybe even a Mac Pro or something your your uh, rendering time may be significantly quicker but we'll wait for this to uh, to complete, and then we'll watch the finished product. Uh, one thing I wanted to go ahead and mention is that I do have an abundance of uh, a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial videos already. The playlist link's actually in this video's description, so if you want to check out my other videos, I encourage you to do so. And if there's something that you're trying to do in Final Cut Pro 10 that you don't know how to do, just ask, and if it's, if it's a function that I'm familiar with, I'll be happy to... Uh, to post a tutorial video for that as well. Again, I'm not an expert. I got into Final Cut Pro 10 
because I wanted something more powerful than, than iMovie. And Final Cut Pro 10, unlike the previous Final Cut Pro versions, Final Cut Pro 10 is very user friendly from a, uh, for a cut and paste type user. And obviously I'm not an expert. I, I create these videos for, uh, for a YouTube channel and that's for my YouTube channel and that's it. So it's, uh, it's good skill to know. Okay, 89%, 90%, we're almost there. We'll watch the, the grand finale. hundred percent so let's rewind it and see you can see those lines right there that are going by that's the effect that we just added was the uh, the aged uh, age film it looks like the film strips dying and anyway thanks for tuning in and uh, feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel youtube.com youtube.com forward slash irixguy and feel free to share this video or any of my other videos for that matter. Y'all have a good one.